The AFC Champions League 2023-2024 semi-finals are set to be blockbuster affairs, with three former champions seeking to lift the title one last time before a new club competition structure is introduced for the 2024-2025 season. Al Ain FC of the United Arab Emirates will host Saudi Arabia's Al Hilal SFC in the first leg of the West semi final, while Korea Republic's Ulsan Hyundai FC will welcome Yokohama F Marinos of Japan in the East Last Four tie. Join the AFC.com in our preview of the semi finals. It will be a meeting between former champions when UAE's Al Ain FC welcomes Al Hilal SFC of Saudi Arabia to the Hazza bin Zayed Stadium. Alain won the inaugural edition of the AFC Champions League in 2003 and followed that up with runners-up finishes in 2005 and 2016. 2016 was also the last time Alain qualified for the AFC Champions League semi-finals, but having performed brilliantly on the continental stage this season, they will believe they can go all the way this season. Leading their charge will be Sufyan Rahimi, with the forward having netted a joint tournament high eight goals so far. Alain head coach Hernan Crespo will also know what to expect from Al Hilal with the Saudi Arabian side having defeated the Argentines' former club Al Duhail SC in the semi-finals of the 2022 edition. Alain will also be boosted by their quarter-final win against Cristiano Ronaldo, powered Al Nasser, but Al Hilal will also be equally confident of their chances. Jorge Jesus' side has been unbeatable this season, having set a world record for most consecutive wins and are determined to lift the AFC Champions League trophy for the third time in five seasons, having also emerged runners-up in 2014, 2017 and 2022. While Alexander Mitrovic has eight goals to his credit, Al Hilal has multiple players who are capable of finding the back of the net. Following their opening day draw with Uzbekistan's Navbahor, Al Hilal has won nine consecutive AFC Champions League matches this season, and this gives the four time Asian champions the edge over Al Ain. Ulsan Hyundai FC is seeking a third AFC Champions League, having lifted the trophy in 2012 and 2020, but standing in their way in the East semi final will be a Yokohama F Marino side determined to create more history. Both teams had to work hard to seal their semi-final spots, with Ulsan advancing to the knockout stage as the Group I runners-up. F Marinos meanwhile topped Group G, but only after a mighty battle with China PR's Shandong Taishan FC and Incheon United of Korea Republic, with all three teams finishing on 12 points. Ulsan were at their best in the round of 16, cruising 5-on-1 past Japan's Ventfore Kofu, while Harry Kewell's F Marinos needed extra time in the second leg to edge Thailand's Bangkok United FC 3-2 on aggregate. Up next for Ulsan in the quarterfinals were John Book Hyundai Motors in a meeting between two K-League rivals chasing a third AFC Champions League. Song Min Kyu gave John Book a fourth-minute lead, but Ulsan refused to give up and their perseverance was rewarded in the 77th minute with Lee Myung Jae netting the priceless equaliser. Ulsan dominated the return leg at home, with Seol Young Woo's goal in the first half added time securing them their place in the semi-finals. F Marinos appearing in the quarter-finals for the first time enjoyed a dream start with Anderson Lopez opening the scoring in the seventh minute. Jan Matthews doubled their joy in the 69th minute, but Chen Pu pulled one back for Shandong in the second half, added time to leave the quarter-final tantalizingly poised. The second leg was a tight affair, but Lopez emerged the hero for the Japanese side, scoring in the 75th minute to take F Marinos into the AFC Champions League semi-finals for the first time. The AFC Champions League 2023-2024 has reached its business end and the semi-finals are set to be classics. Stay updated on all the action through the AFC's digital platforms and don't forget to download the AFC app from the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store.